Hello everyone. Today I would like to talk to you about our journey of using GIS technology in empowering the company's business processes. Kuwait Oil Company is one of the world's largest producers of oil and gas, and it is responsible for exploration, drilling, and production operations in the state of Kuwait. With digitalization and automation in the center of its strategic programs, Kuwait Oil Company excels in utilizing the best technologies to support the quality and safety of its business operations. Now, I am going to share with you how ArcGIS technology became one of the key enablers of the organization's digital transformation journey. The company operates hundreds of thousands of assets, such as gathering centers, booster stations, pipelines, and wells. These assets play a major role in the daily business operations of the company, which is spread over 10,000 square kilometers. Due to this, inclusive asset modeling and geoanalytics became an essential need for planning and monitoring these operations. To fulfill this need, we have implemented an enterprise geospatial modeling framework utilizing ArcGIS for Portal technology to establish a unified platform for GIS maps and apps. We first started from the most fundamental level, which is the infrastructure. We worked on upscaling it with enhanced capacity and improved performance. Then we have conducted a comprehensive GIS unification where hundreds of asset map players were all consolidated under one centralized enterprise geo database. Cartography was also standardized to suit a wide range of asset symbology requirements in oil and gas business. Besides ArcGIS for Portal, we have also implemented additional capabilities utilizing ArcGIS Image Server, ArcGIS Geo Event, and ArcGIS GeoAnalytics to provide a full-fledged platform for supporting advanced applications such as geospatial AI, and real-time IoT integration. As we will see later in this presentation, these capabilities allowed us to provide custom geospatial solutions for critical business processes, such as fuel tankers tracking, land administration, asset management, and others. A variety of maps and apps were made available through the new KOC Maps Portal platform which is currently being used by over 5,000 users. It is worth mentioning that training sessions were also prepared and delivered to our users on this new platform. Lastly, and most importantly, the rich content of the Maps Portal and the user-friendly interface had a great impact on the user experience and added value to the company's business. Therefore, Kuwait Oil Company received the SAG Award last year for the implementation of the MAPS Portal. Here are some of the advantages of the MAPS Portal platform. First, KOC users throughout the organization are now able to perform data sharing and collaboration on a unified platform. In addition, with KOC Maps Portal working as a centralized geospatial database, continuous data updates are now performed much more efficiently. Consequently, this improved the reliability of the organizational GIS content, especially for planning and decision making. Furthermore, the modern, well engineered software architecture of the Maps Portal opened door for geo enabling and automating business workflows. It also made it possible to integrate GIS capabilities with other information systems in the organization, which is a key step towards enterprise-level digital transformation. Now, I would like to showcase some of these business solutions that we have implemented on the KOC Maps portal. I would like to start with one of the key projects of fuel distribution management. Supplying fuel to a large number of equipment and machinery is vital to keep production running. However, managing this process of continuous supply is pretty challenging due to the massive operational areas plus the logistics and safety requirements. To overcome this, it was necessary to provide a solution 
with mapping and situational awareness capabilities, along with real-time tracking and fuel level reporting for all tankers during their daily missions. So we have implemented a fuel distribution monitoring system by integrating KOC Maps Portal with the fuel sensors of the tankers using ArcGIS GeoEvents. The system provides map-based real-time location tracking of tankers, as well as a tabular view of the tankers' mission along with their details, plus statistical reporting for fuel level readings at each distribution site. The system also features recording and history replay along with geofencing. That is in addition to the fuel level alerts, which can be viewed on an operations dashboard. Besides optimizing fuel tanker operation process, the system enhanced the quality of services by providing a centralized application that supports mission planning and control for all fuel distribution operations. Now let's move to another challenge of land administration. Reserving land is a key step in the initiation process of the company's projects, where the suitability and availability of the requested land is thoroughly investigated, and land release requests are processed by multiple departments in the organization. However, with the increasing development in assets and infrastructure of the company, land reservation requests became more frequent and more sophisticated due to a number of technical challenges. For example, deciding the suitability of the land requires verification of many spatial constraints. A centralized land reservation record is needed to avoid overlapping in the reservation of land. As I mentioned earlier, the land reservation requests are handled by multiple departments, and therefore it is crucial to have a unified platform for mapping the process and exchanging analysis results along with their feedback. Site visits and paperwork elongated the process, and thus it was necessary to provide an automated solution with accurate mapping and electronic forms. To resolve these challenges, we have utilized mapping and geoanalytical capabilities of ArcGIS to digitalize the whole land reservation workflow. A mapping application was created to register new requests and route them to the specialized team for analysis and verification. In addition, geoprocessing tools are applied to perform land suitability and find any potential overlapping or any violation to safety rules. An operation dashboard is also made available to provide management with a proper progress reporting tool. This helped shortening the land reservation process cycle. Next, I would like to introduce another solution that we developed for automating one of the major processes for the inspection and corrosion operations. These operations are extremely important for the integrity of KOC facilities, such as tanks, flares, wellheads, and flow lines. Due to the huge number of assets, this process needs to be conducted systematically and in a timely manner. However, with the increasing asset development in the company, Many challenges arise in terms of ensuring the proper planning and safe execution of the inspection process with continuous monitoring. Example of these challenges are the need for a centralized database for inspection data, such as the transformer locations and leak incidents. Also, the extensive time and effort spent in manual data processing and rectifying data errors. That is in addition to availing access to historical inspection data in order to overcome the difficulties of monitoring and analyzing the leak incidents and transformer rectifier equipment status. Therefore, we have implemented a geospatial solution for automating the whole process in a way that supports the daily planning and monitoring for the inspection and corrosion operations. The solution contains several modules First, the leak incident register, which provides a logging functionality of leak incidents and their corresponding analysis. Also, the transformer rectifier survey, 
that provides a reliable and efficient data regarding the transformer rectifier equipment and monitor the information through operations dashboard for statistical reporting. Another module is the geospatial analysis that is used for planning future operations, such as identifying neighboring structures, risk assessment, and logistics preparation. This solution improved the daily operations of inspection and corrosion by automating their manual processes. Further, I would like to talk to you about another application for optimizing asset areas. The operational areas of the company are developing rapidly, with many new assets and facilities are being built. Due to this, the operational areas have become congested, and therefore, a solution was needed for planning and optimizing asset deployment locations. This land optimization process needed to be supported with geospatial modeling and analysis to provide simulation and verification for the proposed asset location. Therefore, we have created a custom application to provide these features. Mapping and visualization of field assets location, simulation and site suitability analysis, collective feedback and decision making. Furthermore, we have created a centralized database for area optimization, where data of current activities, historical information and proposed plans are stored. This enabled the responsible teams to manage and automate the entire process. And finally, the application includes an operation dashboard, which provides the management with regular updates and progress reports. All in all, this application had a great impact on speeding up the process and enhancing its quality and accuracy. Here, I would like to talk about one of the most important applications of GIS technology that was built to support the soil remediation and rehabilitation efforts by Kuwait Environmental Remediation Program. This program was launched to treat the contamination caused by Iraqi invasion in 1991. The main requirement was to perform geospatial modeling of millions of cubic meters of contaminated soil distributed over the company's operational areas. The soil samples collecting and classification were also required to be mapped with high accuracy and quality to comply with the damage classification standards. To meet this requirement, we have automated the workflow for collecting and visualizing the soil samples data in order to create an accurate estimation of the contaminated soil volume through interpolation and geostatistics. In addition, satellite imageries were utilized to produce a time series for land cover change like flooding and vegetation. This is besides the mapping of clearance zones of explosive ordnance. This application supported the safety of employees throughout the operational areas. Now moving to another application. Utilities network are among the most important assets as they are heavily relied upon in the daily operations. The company operates a massive number of these utility networks, such as electric, gas, water, and telecommunications. For that reason, it was necessary to create a geospatial model to cater for these networks. This includes visualization of the location and connectivity information for each one of their elements. Therefore, we have utilized ArcGIS utility network to create this model where huge amounts of assets data were prepared and processed accordingly. Additionally, a custom application was developed to allow the users to visualize the utility networks of different facilities and to also conduct analysis such as connectivity, upstream, loops, and others. This implementation provided an enterprise framework for modeling the company's utility networks which is beneficial to the maintenance operations. Indoor modeling of the company's facilities is one of the vital applications which can be useful in many ways. Now let me share with you how ArcGIS Indoor was used to create such a model for Ahmadi Hospital.
Ahmadi Hospital is the main provider of medical services for the state's oil sector employees. It contains a large number of rooms, facilities, and equipment. Therefore, a comprehensive visualization of all indoor spaces and amenities was essential to applying operational and HSE procedures in emergencies like evacuation, wayfinding, space optimization, maintenance management, and reporting. In order to achieve this model, we used ArcGIS indoors to create a 3D representation for the hospital. Floor plans, rooms, staircases, corridors, and facilities areas were all mapped to enrich the details of the model. We have also provided functionality for finding indoor facilities and navigate between different locations inside the hospital. This indoor modeling provides a platform for space utilization and maintenance activities planning and monitoring. Here is another example of process automation using ArcGIS technology and supporting the company's HSE and emergency response. During accidents, injured staff are evacuated from work sites to the nearest medical facility. This course of action should be conducted very quickly using an emergency helicopter. However, these work sites are very distant and medical evacuation would need to specify the exact location and route for the rescuing mission to be completed successfully with a very short time. We have provided the transport operation control room with a GIS application to create and share evacuation requests details with the rest of the medical and aviation parties involved in this process. Of course, this includes the location information. All these first respondent parties can use the application to monitor the active evacuation missions with map-based tracking and progress notifications. This will ensure the flexible sharing of information which are important to complete these critical missions safely. Once the incident location is reported on the map, the application helps the flight operations control in finding the nearest helipad as well as the pilot assignment as part of the mission and flight route planning. Similarly, the application provides the ambulance team with assignments and patient status information, along with the landing helipad location, in order to complete the evacuation cycle and compute the patient to the hospital in the shortest time possible. As you can see from all these examples, KOC Maps Portal is supporting the geo-enablement of many operations, some of which are very different in domain and technical specialty. Of course, this is just the beginning of our digital transformation journey. The progressive development and constant enhancement of our geospatial technology will continue to support KOC operations in overcoming the rising challenges in the oil and gas industry. Thank you for watching.